hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create this cute paper cut art in the app hyping so let's get started first i am going to open my hyping app and here i'm going to use 3 is to 4 ratio canvas and here the first layer before that i'm going to fill the background with some uh, green color so this is like a dark green color and in the first layer i am going to draw like a frame so for this i am going to use the ballpoint pen brush and using white color not exactly white like mild greenish color and i'm using symmetry tool because if i draw one side it's going to be repeated on the another side so it's easy for me to draw symmetrical art If you make any mistake to undo it, just use two finger in high paint. Just tap two fingers in the screen. So at the top, I'm going to draw like an arch. Like this. Now just drop white color and now between these two colors like uh, below the white frame layer we're going to draw the paper cut art step by step so now I'm going to create a layer below this white color frame and I'm going to use my green color and using the leaf brush to draw the tree like shape And yeah, before that, switch off the um, symmetry tool. Now I'm just creating another layer behind this layer, and I'm going to draw trees like um, dark tree details. So I'm using very dark green color and I'm going to draw the stem of the trees fill with color. So sometimes it happens like you uh, didn't um, fill the gap so make sure you use like hide the um, top layer and do this process or reduce the opacity of the layer and do this also i'm going to draw some leaves here and there so this is going to be not like a real one it's like a cartoon style so keep um know that bush details and tree details everything in a cast, uh, cartoon style like this again I'm going to use before that I'm adding some more uh, tree details in the second layer that we have created now about these trees layer i'm going to create another layer with bright green color bushes now between these layers i'm going to draw the house so i'm using ballpoint pen brush so between this bright green color layer and little dark green color layer i'm going to draw the um house uh, you know house in that layer so i'm going to use multiple color here
and going to draw the door sometimes in high paint when you are filling the color with this drop tool it doesn't uh, fill completely it we have to make a uh, drop uh, multiple times so in that case just go to the bucket tool and adjust the tolerance value so that you can make it at one step itself okay at behind uh, you know behind trees I'm just adding the clouds and also here behind the tree uh, uh, house layer I'm going to draw smoke like detail that is coming from the chimney of house here I didn't connect like this so yeah In the same way I'm going to add one more smoke details Okay, now I almost finished now what you have to do is we have to make duplicate of all these layers and fill the details with black color and move them little bit uh, you know down or up like shadow and we have to use the Gaussian blur to make it like a paper shadow so I will tell the thing one again once again so here you can see I'm just copying all the layers like this yeah now what I'm to do is click on the lock transparent pixel and using a leaf brush I'm going to fill the entire layer details with black color here you can see the all the details in that layer are filled with black color now here you can see so in the same way I am going to duplicate the layer click on the lock transparent pixel option and then fill with black color using the leaf brush so yeah now we have done duplicating and changing color now what i have to do is using the transform tool move it a little bit lower or higher like this and using the gaussian blur you can use up to 70 to 80 percentage of gaussian blur to get this paper like paper shadow like effect now you can see make sure you switch off the log transform pixel option when you are doing this otherwise this uh, the shadow details will not be visible so when we blur it extend to um, some amount of pixel then the original pixel value that we have used for the artwork so now you can see just moving a little bit to the top and using the question blur we got that shadow in the same way i am going to do all the layers one uh, one one by one for the door then for the house more like this little bit for some layer it will not be visible that much because it have more darker background details in such case don't worry about that we have to make it like paper like effect so do for every layer now I'm doing this for the shadow uh, smoke and for one more smoke as well then for this three layer
this um, process of adding Gaussian fil uh, filter gives a huge difference in the way the uh, artwork looks we are done almost now what you have to do is for the tree layer and all the layer are different i'm going to create a clipping layer and using uh, i'm going to use the overlay blending mode and using the 6b pencil uh, brush i'm going to add a little bit of white color strokes like this here and there this gives uh, you know it gives a clear cut edge for these trees and all other art details you can see same way i'm going to change uh, i'm going to create a clipping layer for all the layer main layer and not for the shadow layer that we have uh, used for uh, creating the shadow so keep the blending mode as overlay i tried many other blending modes uh, add blending mode soft and uh, screen a uh, soft light screen blending mode but overlay blending mode works well for me so you can also add the details and try different blending mode you mean like any other blending mode as well so just try it We are almost done now for these trees. Before uh, the these uh, tree details are not that much visible, but after adding these. A uh, you know little bit white stroke it gives a huge um, pop out from the dark back background so yeah we are done with this now at the top of all the layer I'm going to use the gray color and use the uh, you know medium charcoal dry media brush to add some texture to the overall artwork now you can see it, the uh, it looks textured and i'm going to change the blending mode to color dodge so also i'm going to reduce the opacity because we just want the texture but not more um more like a gray one so now i'm going to save this as jpg file and show you the result Hope you like this paper cut art. If you want more paper cut tutorials, um, tell me in the comments below. I will make more video about this. Also, what are the tutorials you want? Tell me in the comments below. I will try to make um, detailed video about that. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.